All right. I knew you'd come here again. You can't keep running away like this. I'm not running away. I just needed to get out. Your parents are going to be worried sick. They don't care about me. They only care about where the booze are coming from. They shouldn't even be allowed the kid. I know they've been tough on you in the past. But we're always here now to keep a close eye on you. To make you feel safe. There used to be a slap or a quick backhand. I was even pushed down the stairs because it was in the way. I could handle that because I could show you my bruises and get help. But then the bruises went away. And that's how we know things are getting better. There's been no signs of abuse for years. You really need to trust them more. It's different now. The cleverer. Why use physical abuse that heals up when they can tease you mentally? That sticks with me forever. But we don't have any records of them doing that. How can it be recorded? Can you dig inside my brain and see the damage in there? My eating disorder has nothing to do with me being a fuss eater. But growing up, being called fat or porky pig makes me not want to eat. I'm scared to be around them, not because of what they'll do, but because of what I'll do to myself. If you ever feel like that, you're going to be doing something stupid to yourself. You need to call us. They told me to kill myself, decide to hang myself. But didn't know how to tie the knot. Just ended up with stupid friction bands around my neck. Just like they say. I can't do anything right. I'll always be a failure. You need to report these things, Harry. I can't help you if you don't. Report what? If I wanted to kill myself. You'll lock me up. Not them. Listen. Let's go back to the office where it's warm. We can have a chat there. And try and sort this out. Okay? Alright. I didn't really want to kill myself. I just wanted to get away from them. 